Hey guys! So I have some new friends on here and a lot of you have been asking me what is Napro Technology? I don't blame you. I have been advocating for this for a while now and I'm still new. I'm still learning. Um, so I'm going to do this video to talk a little bit about what Napro Technology is. If you have further questions afterwards, uh, feel free to reach out and to message me. If I don't know the answer, I will find it and we will both learn together. <laughs> So I guess we'll start with a little clarification. Um, I have consulted a NAPRO doctor because I have been experiencing some infertility issues. I guess you could say that would be the main reason why I reached out to my NAPRO doctor. But in reality, um, if you saw any of my posts recently, um, you know that I was just diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disorder in which my body is um, attacking my thyroid. And uh, the reason why I am so excited <laughs> about it is because I have had symptoms of this disease for many, many, many years. And I was at a point where my life was just, it was just bad. <laughs> like I didn't have a good quality of life. I was depressed, I was anxious, I was so fatigued all the time, and it just, my life was just spiraling out of control, and I did not understand what was happening. Um, I won't get into the story of all the details behind that, but if you did read the post, you know that I went through many, many doctors to find answers. And um, anyway, so to me, going through infertility has been more of a red flag it is something that i understand that fertility is a natural thing i believe we were created to naturally be able to conceive and if something is is stopping that process it means that something is not working within us and rather than just um, hijack my body with medications and try to just cheat the system and get pregnant by force i have been more um uh just interested in trying to find the root cause for my infertility. And um, well, I shared with you how charting my cycles uh, through basal body temperatures have actually showed me that I had the symptoms or the, the signs of having a thyroid disease or PCOS, which is an amazing thing that, you know, being able to to take these measures on our own we can actually help our doctors figure out what's wrong with us so again if you're not uh charting your cycles i recommend it's a perfect day to get started so anyway i was charting for several years and i've always known something was off and so um it has taken me quite a bit to finally get on board with NAPRO technology. But the thing that really, really pushed, I knew I was going to pursue that route, but I felt like um, I st there was things that I was still working on as far as my health goes uh, and dietary changes, exercise and mental health and all that. Um, you know, it's all aligned. So I wanted to ensure that when I did see my doctor, that I was coming in there armed, that I had done the work. And if I had not gotten pregnant by then, then obviously there was something um, internally that needed uh, some some look so, or some, someone to look at for me. And uh, so that brings me to what is NAPRO technology? Nap NAPRO technology stands for natural procreative technology. And these are real medical doctors, guys. Like it's not just someone who decided to take a class on this, okay? Um, these are board certified trained physicians. A lot of them are OBGYNs and have a family practice. Um, they deliver babies and there are a handful of them who are actually trained surgeons. So if you heard me talking a lot about uh, going to meet my NAPRO surgeon in McKinney, Texas recently, that's the reason why I was pointing to that. But I want to backtrack a little bit and just again for clarification. I knew that the way in which NAPRO technology uh, better uh, assist a woman 
is through uh, understanding of a woman's cervical mucus pattern, more specifically measured through the Creighton model uh, fertility care system. And I had been charting my cycles uh, mainly by taking temperatures and I would check cervical mucus, but I didn't have a specific pattern just because I happened to have very, very dry days most of my cycles. And it was very difficult for me to kind of just understand the lingo behind uh, what even a natural cervical mucus pattern looks like. So in preparation to my first appointment, I went ahead and contacted a fertility care practitioner that was uh, trained in charting through Creighton Method. And she uh, has been working with me to teach me how to chart in this way. Um, from talking to her and I just realized that I completely loved uh, her approach and where she was working from. So I decided to schedule my appointment with the physician that she works with. Now, I am currently living in El Paso, Texas, and her practice is in Indianapolis, Indiana. They um, are called Magnificent Family Medicine, and my doctor, NAPRO doctor, is called, is, her name is uh, Dr. Casey Del Coco. So I went ahead and met with her, and she has been sending me um, uh, to redo a lot of my lab work that I kind of brought to her, and I have a couple of ultrasounds that I need to do. But if you recall from some of my videos when I talked about that, you know that her approach to treat me after hearing my history is that she wants to um, treat me as if I have endometriosis until proven otherwise. And I gotta tell you, that was a shocker to me because I personally have never felt like I had any symptoms of endometriosis. In fact, I don't think I knew much about endometriosis. Uh, come to think of it, not a lot of us do, even doctors. Um, there's not enough research that is out there uh, talking about what this disease is and why it happens. But one thing that um, I know for sure is a, is a very common symptom is that women are having extremely heavy periods and excruciating painful uh, menstrual cycles to the point where they can't go to work. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, that is endometriosis, so I definitely don't have it. So to hear my doctor suggest that I may have it and that it could be a reason for my infertility. It just sparked this huge interest of mine to uh, try to dive in and learn more about it. And I want to do uh, extra videos just talking about endometriosis specifically because the information that I've learned is, um, wow, like it has given me a new perspective of infertility, but also the disease itself. So you may not be struggling with infertility yourself, but you may be experiencing symptoms of endometriosis. So I want to share with you everything that I learned. That's for another video. For now, I want to um, share with you a little bit about um, what it looks like to work with a um, educator that teaches you how to chart through Creighton Method. So when you uh, schedule an appointment with one of them, they will go ahead and mail you a set of instructions or yeah, it comes with a book and uh, this chart here that actually gives you uh, the ability to chart up to six cycles, I believe. As you can see here, I've charted one, two, three. I'm on my fourth cycle. So it's been four months since I started working with Hannah. That is her name. Uh, if uh, you are interested in that, uh, I totally recommend her. So please message me. I will give you her details. Um, this is all done online or virtually, I should say. And so what happens is that uh for that schedule goes i'll use this little pamphlet here that she mailed me i don't know if you can appreciate the small uh uh words there but this is kind of how the session goes you you will more than likely schedule to have an intro introduction session with her and you will meet with her four times within a month so once a week um, so that you can share with her what you are seeing and what you're learning from your cervical mucus. And it's been super helpful, guys. Like, I feel like I knew a lot, but 
I, every session that I jumped on with her, I was learning like new things. So totally worth it, even if you think you know uh, what you're looking for. Now, after the first month, the meetings start to get spaced out. So if you can see here, meeting number five, six, seven, and eight happens in a period of if, um, five to four weeks later, okay? And so essentially, you are having a total of eight meetings throughout the entire year. Um, and and the they're more common or more... Um, that you get to meet with her once a week, like I said, in the beginning, and then they get spread out through, towards the rest of the year. And uh, I have only met with Hannah for a handful of times because by then I had my appointment with my doctor and um, well, we've been working with what I have on my chart at this point. So that brings me back to NAPRO technology. So Cranin Method teaches you how to chart your cycles to have empirical data that you can then provide to your NAPRO doctor, which is this little chart here. Um, when I scheduled my, my first appointment with Dr. Del Coco, she basically had a copy of what I had written here, along with other labs that I had faxed her, her office. So she was able to see from my data and what my body was producing, what kind of cervical mucus um, I was producing. Uh, she was able to kind of get a game plan going for me. Um, just another cool things about NAPRO technology, they work with more than just infertility. So if you are suffering from like long cycles, irregular cycles, painful periods, um, hormonal imbalances, miscarriages, uh, PCOS, I'm reading the, the pamphlet here because I don't want to miss um, postpartum depression, depression, premature birth, perimenopause, PMS, um, and all these uh, hormonal imbalances, they they can help and they work with your cycles. And, and um, the reason why this is not known so much is because this is relatively, um, I'll backtrack a little bit just so you understand the history. Uh, the pill, the birth control pill came out in 1960s. Around that time, um, the first people that were starting to study the menstrual cycle, you know, the natural process of cervical mucus also came out around that period. This was done through uh, Dr. Billings, which is the Billings method, if you're familiar with that. And Creighton is almost like an evolution of that. And what happens is that uh, Dr. Hilgers, who is the, the doctor that is in charge or creator of this method, this, uh, created this fertility care system to be able to take care of women and their fertility issues um, by, by addressing the root cause of their hormonal imbalances. So this has been in a, in a period of the last 30 years. So again, we are just catching on with technology. The word is getting out there. So if you have not heard of it, um, that is why, and that is probably another reason why your doctors are not going to tell you about it. So this is me spreading the word. This is not just for infertility. Um, this is uh, something that you can totally consider for uh, any other uh, hormonal imbalance issues that you may be experiencing. I'll go over just what else this pamphlet says. I don't know if you can see here, but here 98% um, of couples with normal fertility are able to achieve pregnancy by the sixth cycle. So that's pretty cool. I have found through my infertility that um, a lot of the times women who cannot get pregnant if immediately, um, it is more than likely because they have no clue when to get pregnant. And believe it or not, that has a lot to do with it. So you need to know when you're fertile to even be able to, to score. <laughs> um, now, another uh, right here, it says that 20 to 40% of couples will achieve pregnancy with the fertility care system and up to 80% will conceive with additional cooperative uh, NAPRO treatments. And, and of course that depends on your underlying condition. So um, this may seem very low to you, 
But to put it in perspective, I will say, I will say that IUIs and IVF rates uh, average at least 15 to 30 percent success rates. So clearly, you can see here that this this is this is good stuff. This is good news for us. Um, another cool thing here. It says 96%, 96.8% effectiveness at avoiding pregnancy with typical use and 995 effective with perfect use as birth control. Now you may be thinking, uh, 96.8, yeah, I don't want to take my chances, but let me put it to you um, in this other perspective. Uh, according to Planned Parenthood, condoms have a 98% effective rate. Um, did I say that correctly? Yeah, 98% effective rate when used perfectly. Now, we're not perfect humans, okay? So that means that there's some going to be some um, barriers to that. And Planned Parenthood apparently seems to quote here on their website that with regular human use, condoms are successful at preventing pregnancy 85% of the time. So again, if this 96.8% uh, scares you, 96.8% scares you, it is still higher than condoms. Um, so yeah, I don't think a lot of people know that and the the the... The rates at effectiveness are constantly being challenged by the medical community. And I've said this in other posts before. A lot of the times doctors just confuse fertility awareness methods, natural family planning with the rhythm method, which is an older model of trying to prevent pregnancy naturally and was very ineffective. So research is advancing, guys. This works. <laughs> um Oh, this one. I really want to share this with you because I've met so many of you here who um, endured the loss of a baby through miscarriage. And I'm so, so sorry for that. But here with Napro Technology, they have a 79% effective at helping women have successful pregnancies after miscarriage. My, my um, Napro surgeon doctor who I'm going to see for my uh, laparoscopic surgery actually was um, in charge of a care of a woman whose story is available for you to hear in the Restoring Your Fertility Naturally podcast, um, which is uh, host, which is hosted by a wonderful uh, fertility care uh, advocate who is also a fellow nurse. Her, her name is Mallory Mayer. You can find her on Instagram. And um, if you go ahead and listen to that podcast, you're going to see how this woman who had struggled with uh, miscarriages was treated by Dr. Jones in such a different approach that allowed her to be able to keep her um, pregnancies. And she had to be on specific medications and uh, be taking specific lab tests. Now, if you've experienced miscarriages in your past, you know that your conventional doctors are not treating you this way. So just another thing that I really, really want to reinforce that, guys, these are real solutions to our problems. And um, again, here, 95% success rate at reducing postpartum depression and PMS symptoms. Um, and it's all natural. So um, yeah, I can't stop advocating for this and I will continue to do so. Um, my, I, I just realized that I keep telling you about my NAPRO surgeon and then my NAPRO doctor. So just if you're confused still, just to give you um, a little uh, idea of how that works, think of my NAPRO doctor as like my primary physician, right? And she has requested that I have surgery done to rule out endometriosis. And um, it's not necessary for you to choose a NAPRO surgeon. In fact, there's not many out there in the country. But um, 
one thing that I have come to learn about endometriosis is not only is it not well understood, but a lot of the, the surgeons that are performing laparoscopic surgeries on women are also not adequately trained to remove a lot of the endometrial um, uh, tissue that's growing. And so many women who suffer from endometriosis have to have repetitive surgeries to try to remove the tissue and try to improve their quality of life because oftentimes they start to develop scar tissue because of the surgery techniques. And Dr. Hilgers has created this method in which he trains uh, their surgeons specifically in uh, techniques that help reduce the amount of scar tissue that can happen and the way that they um, excise the tissue and not just like burn it off from you. And uh, so because of that, uh, I did my research and decided specifically to fly out to uh, the Dallas airport, get to McKinney so that Dr. Jones performs my surgery. Um, I understand that that may not be uh, the case for everyone and you may not be able to financially uh, make those decisions. And uh, again, this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this. The fact that there are not many surgeons out there that are trained or equipped to treat women with this debilitating disorder is unacceptable. And nothing is going to change until we start to ask for change. And so I, 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 um, I recognize that not many have the ability to do so. But I hope that you hear my heart, that when I share my story, it is simply me putting a ripple in this ocean in my hope that one day our medical system is going to open up to to allow women to have real solutions and so um i i've just become very passionate about endometriosis i don't even know if i have it but the fact that i um have am going through this and i'm learning about the pain that a lot of the women endure, like it's just unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And a lot of you women, if you have experienced this distress, um, chances are your doctor asked you, do you want to get pregnant? And if you said no, he probably started you on birth control. And um, I mean, you may be feeling better, but again, your endometriosis is still there. And, and for the women who do not want to be on birth control, for the women that are truly still suffering from this, like, <sighs> we got to get the word out there. So this is what I'm doing. And this is why I love NAPRO technology and why I feel so confident. Um, and I trust my doctor so much to the point where um, the thought of having surgery, surgery would normally make me freak out and start having panic attacks, but I'm going in there in a full blown confidence that I am being treated by the best of the best. I did my research. I, I can tell you that this is, um, this is, um, going to be part of my journey. And I, and I'm just so very happy and grateful that I've been put in this place where I get to work with such a great team and um, my hope is to encourage you to know that if you feel like you're not getting anywhere from your doctors that there's people out there who do want to help you but you need to equip yourself you need to educate yourself you do not know what to ask for if you don't know what you need so learn to chart your cycles learn how your body just naturally works and just advocate for yourself. Um, if you have any other questions about NAPRO technology, like I said, shoot them my way. We're all learning together and um, it would be my pleasure to be able to, to make more videos about this so that more women can feel um, empowered with their health decisions.